You now welcome to this channel where we give now Bonge update on what in the happen for Biafra territory as Prime Minister they expose Musa and the Janja with newspaper house of the atrocity of the Islamic State for Okoma community. Make not listen. They came and announced that soldiers, 16 soldiers, have been massacred in Okoma community. But what they are not telling you people, what were the soldiers doing there? We've listened to different stories. The story of oil bunkering, which is the business of the Nigeria Army, terrorist army, that's what they do. The fight in Oklahoma community is a fight of the control of oil bunkering. They are not telling you people this story. The Biafra government has nothing to do with oil, oil bunkering. We are going to control our natural resources by ourselves, by force, by arms, by everything possible. And when that time comes, you will know that Biafra government is responsible for whatever that is going on in control of our resources. The time is going to come. Now, if they are crying about the soldiers that have been killed in Iguocha, how many times have they cried that the Biafra Liberation Army killed soldiers? But they are complaining and crying every day for nothing. At least, you have seen that soldiers were killed in the Okoma community for bunkering, for air bunkering. But have you seen them crying that, mentioning it, that Biafra Liberation Army have killed the Nigeria Army and they want to revenge? Have you seen them saying it? Ask yourself, why is Okoma community different? Because they know the validation of Biafra will begin from there. But they are not mentioning it. Do you know, as they are killing Biafra's Biafra army and neutralizing them, do you know how many numbers of all, all these terrorist army that Biafra and Liberation Army have neutralized? Thousands of them. I am saying, I want you to cut this particular segment. Thousands of them. And if they have not neutralized them, they will level entire village in Biafra land. We will not allow that anymore. It, they have done it before. It but the question I want to ask is, suppose, why have they not mentioned that Biafra Liberation Army are killing Nigeria I mean, when they come to kill us? Rather, they are mentioning and publicizing just 16 soldiers that the community, that the people that are fighting doing. See, it was all over news everywhere. 16. But ask them to give account of how many soldiers has fallen in the second Biafra war. Because what is happening now is Biafra war. A systematic war going on. How many Nigeria army, terrorist army has fallen in Imo state? I am telling you they are running up to thousands in Imo state. But they have not come to shout that army have died in Imo state. Ask yourself, why? And let me tell you, this is under, we are operating under international law. There is no law that we have violated because we know exactly what we're doing. You don't expect their friends to fold their arms, to fold their hand because we are fighting to liberate ourselves peacefully. We were agitating peacefully. And for that reason, you pick up your guns and your AK-47 and start shooting a live bullet on protesters for many years. And I told them, if you have been shouting on social media, I will not shout on social media. Have you seen me broadcasting for a long time? My broadcast is what I am doing now on this tour. I use the opportunity to speak to beer friends like you. And that is the broadcast I'm having now. The time for broadcasting is over. It is the time to put everything we have learned and researched for many years into action, into work. And whenever the, the time for this tour, I will use the opportunity to broadcast to the Biafra people. That's what I'm doing. And when our app, when our social media app comes out, maybe there could be a change. Okay. So I want to assure you people today, Biafra, all over the world, that the defense of Biafra is a no-go area. We will fight and fight until the Biafra is restored. And nobody is going to die. 
I am telling you the fact. Our aim and objective is to make sure in this fight, no Biafra dies. But like Onyen do used to say, they will kill us, we will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra will come. I want to thank those of you who have supported this movement up to this point. But remember, we have entered the liberation phase where everything will be very difficult. By the special grace of God, it will not be difficult for the Biafra people. The dragon flag has been raised since 2021. And the dragon flag is not going down. Yes. And that we, are we have raised the Biafra Liberation Army flag. We have also raised the Biafra Resistance Fighters flag. We have raised the Biafra Navy flag. We have raised the defense, the BDF, the Biafra Defense Force flag. That flag, those flags will never go down. Until the declaration of Biafra, and Biafra will be defended. For those who are saying that it is not possible that we are just deceiving people, thank you very much. We will deceive people, but remember, when the time comes, and if you are a Biafra and saying it, you have something waiting for you. The Biafra law and policy will wait for you at the right time. And then you will shout, had I known. Yes. Those who are the people are shouting, Simon Epa. Simon Epa is killing soldiers in Nigeria. Why are you going to support him? These are the same people who were pushing people to go and die in Aba. And they went and actually died. We have the recent one. And I want to ask you, have there been any consequences from their side? The answer is no. But you know, we are not going to overlook those things based on the fact that they are not supporting what we are doing. Every Biafran is recognized by Biafra government. Government is a government. We are not organization. We are not uh, IPOB that you say you don't register. You are not a registered member. No, that is the difference. So when those people were killed in Aba, we made sure that the Nigeria government that killed them pay for it. And today, believe me, they have paid more than that expected. So the government of Biafra is living up to its you know, responsibility. And we have also made sure that those of our people who think that the government is just a symbolic one in their various communities, there has been peace and tranquility while other people in Nigeria are facing extinction, including displacement, going to IDP camp, killing them, abducting school children, killing women and all that. It's, they are all happening all over Nigeria. It is only in Biafra territory that that is not happening. And I'm telling you, any day they try and abduct anybody in mass in Biafra land, believe me, I will not say what we're going to do, but we know where to hold them. The time has come that you must be speaking very bold do not be scared of your enemy. Exactly. The invasion of Biafra land must stop. The terrorist checkpoint in Biafra land must be disbanded. Let me tell you, it is something that is going to take time. We are not going to say, we are not saying that it must end in one day or in one week. It is something that is going to take time. We are fighting a terrorist government that has billions of dollars. And so far, so good. Systematically, as you can see, we are defeating them. And the defeat will continue. So my fellow Biafran, the 2nd of December declaration of the restoration of independence state of Biafra is very sacrosanct. We maintain it is very, very sacrosanct. The ongoing self-referendum is very important that you stick and make sure that your people in your villages, in your town, participate in the voting. We need as many number of votes as possible in order to legitimize or to, you know, to validate the actions of the government. We must get a reasonable number of votes and we'll have time. Those states that are yet to receive their tablet, especially the lottery officials, you are going to receive your tablet very, very soon. So but for now, it is very imperative that the media team of the Biafra Republic government in exile 
and every lovers of Biafra government in exile and those who are individually broadcasting on their own must channel their energy to the voting for self-referendum. Very, very important. We need to get as many votes as possible before October this year. The first phase of this voting is going to end next month, which is May. After that, we go to the second voting, and then we go to the third voting, to the third phase. So it is very, very important. This is what is going to define a lot of things that will happen this year. For those who do not understand how the Biafra independence and liberation is going to happen, of course, I'll always explain this. On the 2nd of December, 2024, when we have gathered enough vote and see that Biafra people have given their consent to the government, we will declare the restoration of independence state of Biafra. And we are going to intensify the defense of our land. We are also going to intensify the delegitimization of the Nigeria state within Biafra. In addition to that, we will intensify our diplomatic fight to see the recognition of Biafra. Like you hear our Director General of uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry talked about Belgium. It is the same everywhere. Biafra is the only country that actually have enjoyed recognition. No other country has been recognized during the Declaration of, of Independence. It is only Biafra that we recognize. And the people do not understand the importance of these recognitions. The past leaders of the Biafra movement have done very well, but nobody has been able to break the chains to benefit what this recognition has to offer. The Biafra government is doing everything to make sure that the recognition of Biafra is restored. We are also filing application in the next 10 days. We are filing application to many authorities that you are going to hear from the media announcement. This application has to do with the recognition of Biafra. And also, we will make sure that the international stage, at the international stage, Biafra become a topic. Biafra is not going to be a topic by carrying flag and running around in the street. Biafra can never be a topic by coming on social media and shouting Simon Ekpa is a criminal. Biafra can never be a topic by calling Ike Kuremado Onyoshi. Biafra can never be a topic by claiming that or, or shouting that Tinubu is a drug pusher. No, we have done all those. Everybody knows Tinubu is a drug pusher. Everybody knows Tinubu is a criminal. But that is not the reason to fight for Biafra. The reason to fight for Biafra has to do with the you fight to preserve yourself, the you fight to preserve your life, the you fight to make sure that your culture, your way of life is preserved, and of course, the people as, as Biafra nation as a large. The fight to live, the fight to life, that is the reason for Biafra. The reason, for Biafra, the reason for Biafra is not because Nigeria is corrupt. No. The reason for Biafra is because Nigeria is not a country. The reason for fighting for Biafra is because when Nigeria was created, the people of Biafra did not consent to Nigeria. The reason for fighting for Biafra is because the original plan of Nigeria has changed without you knowing it. The reason for Biafra exit today is to, because why Nigeria was recognized as a secular state today, it is no longer a secular state. It has changed from the backyard to Islamic state. That is the reason, without your consent. The reason for Nigeria to break away, to break into how many pieces but Biafra own is that we are only interested in our own nation and our own people. And let me tell you the fact. The old Eastern Nigeria that fought Biafra war remain Biafra people. Those who say they are not Biafra, the referendum is going on. You may decide not to, you may decide to say no to the referendum. And when the result comes, we are going to check you. But for now, Biafra remain 40 United States of Biafra. And 
the old eastern region is the Biafra. And those who will tell you that Igbo five state should go, you know, these are the issues that I really don't want to talk about because it does not make sense. Igbo does not have five states. If you talk about Igbo, there are Igbo in Benue State, there are Igbos in Kogi State. And so if they are telling you Igbos, what is going to happen to the Igbo in Benue State? What is going to happen to the Igbos in, in River State? And let me tell you, these are just, when we talk about Igbo, we talk about those speaking Igbo. There are Igbos that doesn't speak Igbo. These are the ones you find in Ijo, Efik, Urobo. These are Igbos that doesn't speak Igbo language. What do you do to them? Anyway, my people in Belgium, you have a very important role to play in this struggle or not in the liberation of Biafra. Our achievement speak for itself. I will not sit here and start listening the achievement of the Biafra government in exile. Our own is that we've made sure that the legality of the government in exile has been proven beyond every reasonable doubt in accordance with international law. Our own job now is to continue to push for the recognition of this government, including the de facto government in the homeland. The structure of the government has met the 1933 Montevideo Convention of a state. And now that this particular formation of the government and structure has been achieved, we now focus on the delegitimization of Nigeria. Kowa Nigeria Igwe, as much as possible. That is all. You have to prove to the international community how serious you are. And of course, the next is to the UN. We will hit them very hard with evidence. So for peace to return to the entire West Africa, Biafra must be free. The continual subjugation of Biafra, the continual forceful union in Nigeria will never restore peace in the West Africa. And this particular peace will go beyond West Africa up to the entire Africa and Sahel. Because the exit of Biafra will also end the upsurge of terrorists within the Sahel region. The interest that the terrorists have that the reason they are invading Nigeria today, many of the majority percent of this interest lies in the Biafra soil. And so the exit of Biafra will end the entire terrorist plan in Africa. And everybody must understand this. So when we fight for our freedom, we are not just fight for the freedom of Biafra alone. We are fighting for the mankind. We are fighting for the preservation of the human life within the, the Sahel region. So any nation, any government that is very responsible must support Biafra. But like everybody know, we are not bothered whether a government recognizes Biafra government or not. We know that we must continue to do that, which is right, according to international law, until they are forced to recognize Biafra. Because the time is coming when you can't hide away from what we are doing. The time is coming. When this government, who have refused to comment on the activities and the status of Biafra, will be forced to comment. And though the time is coming, when the United Nations, who have removed, remained mute and don't, you know, the spirit of I don't care, will be forced to comment on Biafra. And that will determine, that comment will come as a result of our determination, our resilience, and what we have to do to delegitimize Nigeria state within Biafra land. And that's where we are going today. The economic sanction strangulation continues. So Belgian people, I want you to understand that for us to you know, go deeper into the uh, affair of the Biafra Republic government in exile is something that takes a lot of time. We are now going to start the awareness like never before, making sure that our people will listen to the voice of Biafra radio from the satellite and our people will listen to the voice of Biafra television satellite TV in Biafra land and that is already happening. We are live on satellite, live on satellite on TV, live on satellite on radio and we are still spreading 
Now we have ordered that the entire uh, coastal state, the state from the coastal region, will have, first of all, we'll have this radio, the FM 97.5 FM from the satellite spread across the state before we talk of the hinterland. Because in the hinterland, the entire Biafra are aware of what is going on. So our satellite is focused on the coastal side. And from this week, we are into one of the hinterland state will test, will test run the uh, satellite radio from the Biafra Republic government in Exa and the Biafra de facto government. So please, if you are one of those who are uh, um, uh, an officer for the voting for the uh, referendum, please, you have to beef up your activities. We need as many votes as possible before October. This is very, very important. We need as many votes as possible. So I want you to, I want to thank you for supporting this government up to this point uh and our activities in defending Biafra land will continue that is not going back from here i thank you very much airborne to the Biafra Republic airborne, airborne to the Biafra Liberation Army airborne, airborne to the Biafra Defense Forces thank airborne. you all your flag and the arms will continue at, to go against the enemy which is the Nigeria terrorist state and we'll protect our women and our children and nobody will intimidate us to drop our arms for oh. self-defense. Thank you. Yes, now we'll come back from the hope that now you're waiting Prime Minister talk. And we know say by the grace of Chukuka Biafra or Biafra. For this matter, I'm going to rest my case now. Thank you.